let's begin with Jorin. <laughs> so, so nobody else needs to talk anymore. <laughs> you can all go home. Um, I have way too much to say about this, so let me see how quickly I can cull it down. Social media, um, I do it all. Avo is for lawyers. Uh, the other folks of us don't need to bother. I use Avo. Um, I use Facebook. I use LinkedIn. Uh, I just hired a 21-year-old to get me onto Instagram. Um, I didn't understand why Instagram was important. She read my first book and she came back to me and she said, this is why you explain it here. You just didn't know you were talking about Instagram. So, so um, I'm a little out of my element with some of this stuff. It's not hard to learn. You can learn it. You go on Google and go to YouTube and there are apps, there are videos, it's all there. Um, I use posters to, um, to help me do presentations. I do presentations all over the place. Um, I do presentations to professional groups, groups of CPAs who don't do uh, collaborative practice, groups of CFPs who don't do collaborative practice, groups of other lawyers, um, groups of other lawyers who might consider getting into collaborative practice, probate lawyers, um, estate planning lawyers, uh, you know, um, partnership dispute lawyers, um, you name it. And, and I go there. I talked about a, a museum that I did a webinar for. So you can focus on marketing to other professionals who will spread the word. Um, one reason to market to them is because if they have clients who are married to each other, they are more likely to keep both of those clients when those clients get divorced collaboratively or at least nicely um, one way or another. Um, so that's how you market to those professionals and then they'll send you their clients, hopefully. And that has been my experience. Um, I also market uh, early on, I established a pro bono project because I wanted to get the word out into the community. And one way to do that is to do free work. So I get these people in pro bono collaborative cases and in the front end, I get them to sign an agreement that they will tell people about what collaborative divorce does for them. And in fact, they do. I've had referrals from those people. I've had those people come and speak at events where I was talking to collaborative professionals about doing pro bono projects. And so I called one gal and I said, Saturday morning, are you busy? And she goes, no, what do you need? And she came and she talked and getting her to stop talking was actually harder than getting her to start talking. Um, these people are very happy with, it doesn't matter if they're pro bono or not, they're happy with the results. The question is, how do you get those testimonials? And if they're pro bono, they owe you, they feel that they owe you. So they, they will give back to you. They'll give back to the community. They'll take the word out there. I also, as I mentioned, used my posters. Now these are the handheld versions. Um, this is the first one I mentioned already, courtless divorce processes. It goes hand in hand with my costs uh, poster, which sort of gives a rundown on what, what your likely costs are going to be. And then we go from there to all the other, um, I've got 19 posters. It's ridiculous. I have words matter. We talked about words. Words are critical and they, they create an environment and your clients need to know that their words matter just as much as your words matter. So we talk about all of that. It's, it's educating your clients at the same time as your marketing and they go out, they take that word out and they take it out there. Now budget, that's, that's another issue. I don't worry too much about budget because a lot of this stuff is free. You can do it for free. Um, in fact, uh, you're investing time. Uh, if you want to count up your time, I have no idea what that looks like. But um, most of my budget is next to nothing. Social media doesn't cost anything. Now, yes, I have a 21 year old. She's an intern. You can get free interns. I happen to pay mine. Um, I have three interns working for me now. They're all 21. They're from UT, uh, UCF and USF. And I pay two of them $10 an hour and one of them $12 an hour. So, uh, you know, but you can get interns for free and they're fabulous. They're young. They have great ideas. Um, we have meetings. We had a meeting earlier today to talk about marketing, right? So that's the, that's the budget issue. Um, you can spend as much as you want. But again, I don't think marketing is the same as advertising and I don't believe in advertising. I, um, I, I do marketing every time I turn around. So is it a priority for me? Absolutely. I'm 
talking collaborative anytime I open my mouth. Thank you, Jordan. Jordan, let me ask you a quick question. Maybe you could answer um, one of the questions that was asked. What is, do you know what your practice group in the Tampa Bay area charges? For to be a member? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get $200. That sounds about right. Okay. An annual that's, membership. Right. That's a, a general area that we um, tend. Well, thank you very much, Jordan. I want you to help me help you create your 2020 marketing plan. I want to know the questions that you still have. Uh, I want to know what tips you think that I can help you cover. You can reach me at Joran at JoranJenkins.com. You can visit my website, www.JoranJenkins.com. I also offer collaborative coaching. I offer weekly masterminds. I offer webinars. I offer toolkits. Um, I also have a week by week, year long marketing plan that will help you personalize your own marketing program for the year 2020. It will help you change the way the world gets divorced in your venue, wherever that is. Or you can buy my book, Changing the Way the World Gets Divorced. Um, the subtitle is Marketing Your Collaborative Practice at JoranJenkins.com. Thank you so much.